Alright, I'd like to welcome you guys back to Pro Build Systems. What we have for you today is the ironically named Phenom by BitPhoenix. Uh, basically, this is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX edition of this case, and we're going to show that to you. I got a special guest here, Dom. He's here to spin it for you. Just His only purpose is just to spin this around, just for you guys. So you guys should feel really blessed. Brought someone here just to do that. Alright, so we're going to take you inside, give you a look of uh, what this case is about, and uh, whether or not it's worth taking a look at. All right, we're going to start our overview on the outside. The front is totally plain with just the BitPhoenix logo here. And this is a matte, like, soft touch exterior. So not too bad. Not too bad for fingerprints. The top is the same feel, except it also has a removable grate that allow you to put a dual radiator there. The front I.O. in this case has power, reset, two USB 3.0, and front side audio. You'll see some GeForce... NVIDIA branding here with part of the eye and then that's continued here onto this side where it's completed and then you see the GTX badge. Basically that's what signifies this as a GeForce Edition along with the green styling here. So the rear of the case you'll notice there's a fan mount for a 120 or 140 millimeter fan. You can see the motherboard shield goes here and then you'll notice that the power supply is actually not mounted in the back of the case. There is one of those pretty common nowadays uh, power supply pass-throughs here, so you can see that, and then that runs to where the power supply is actually mounted on the inside of the case where we'll show you. The case has five PCI slots, so you'll see based on your motherboard what you can fit into that. We're going to move on to the inside. On the door, you'll see here you have two solid-state mounting trays. These are the kind of difficult to use style where you have to disconnect it from the door, pull it off, put the screws into the bottom, then reconnect it. So not the most convenient choice for solid state mounts. So a couple interesting things you'll see here. This is where the power supply mounts face down and then some ventilation here that'll pull in through these green grates. The bottom of the case supports another dual uh, 120 or 140 millimeter fan. So you can put two of those down there along with one here and then two on the top. So looking more on the inside, you'll notice that there's another bracket here. This is one thing that I dislike about the style of this case is it's not the most convenient case to build in. You're going to be removing a lot of things in order to put your parts in and if you don't build them in the proper order, you're going to find yourself taking parts back out and basically putting them in the correct order. This tray here that you're going to have to remove to get to anything is basically going to be where you're mounting hard drives. They also give you this option here to put into the back end of what appears to be a CD bay. And this will give you some different op mounting options for some drives as well. Cable management isn't going to be a really big issue in this case because it's not windowed. But there is a little bit of room behind the motherboard tray. I'd say about finger thickness. So that's basically what you're going to get even though, like I said, it's not going to be a big issue because you're going to be using uh, a non-windowed case. So you're only going to be cable managing for airflow, not necessarily for looks. But cable managing at all is going to be difficult because of where your hard drives are located. You have hard drives located on the door. You have hard drives located on this frame here. So, and even possibly up here. So cable management is basically going to be non-existent in this case. So if that's a deal breaker for you, you should be aware of that now. Or I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Remember, everybody, like, follow, and subscribe. All the buttons are probably right down there below in the description. Love, peace, and Afro Grease. I spin. Don't, don't block my spin. I thought you were going to do the same thing you did last time. That's why we retook it. I never do the same thing twice. <laughs> the man's not I'll be in my trailer. <laughs>